It's so soft too. Yeah. I think don't build, build it off hey everybody, Dr. Nicole Friels here. I have an excellent case to show you. It's probably the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. So I hope you watch the video, enjoy. Don't forget, comment, subscribe, you know, ring the bell, whatever. Because I'm just wondering if this whole thing's gonna pop off. How long have you been using the pen lac over here? Uh, a year. A year. So what I'm seeing is a ton of buildup and honestly, I'm pretty excited to see what's under here because I have no idea. When we first got it, the doctor told us mm -hmm. use it for six months. Yes. <clears throat> so you've used it. I mean, you've done well. Obviously, you've been compliant. But it looks to me that the buildup, it's just almost layering. Oh, there we go. Layering on top of it. It's so soft, too. Yeah. I think don't peel it off too much. It almost looks like taffy. <laughs> you know, like that saltwater taffy you get mm. by the beach. I know I love that stuff. Ooh, Maybe, I wonder what flavor it would be. <laughs> um, so let's just get this. And what we'll do is thin it out. We'll get the Dremel as much as possible. I don't, just don't want to take too big of a bite, you know, as a diabetic with poor circulation. But this will look so much better when you leave today. It's so soft. It's really kind of interesting. I love seeing anything new, you know, that this whole nail might come off, you guys. Let's go real slow. Are you okay? I'm not hurting you, am I? And I'll definitely check your, um, you know, you're talking about that nerve damage. Make sure you're not having any, uh, or check the extent of that and see what we need to do. I just cannot remember the word. It's right off the tip of my tongue. They said what it was called. The, the ner nerve damage? It starts with an N. Neuropathy. Neuropathy. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Let's get it a little bit in here. I don't think you're going to have a nail left when I'm done. Okay. Because it's like, where does the skin begin and the nail end? If you can just relax your foot just a little bit, you're holding and that stuff. So. <laughs> I, I, I tried to work on him and he can't do it. Yeah. Just as long as I'm not hurting you, okay? Just, just, this is, uh, I've never seen this before, I'm not gonna lie. But I can tell you've been compliant because it's just layer after layer of it. And the thing with Pinlac, and, and that's the medicine that's called into the pharmacy, is um, you have to remove it every seven days with alcohol or you get buildup. But obviously you said you didn't know, so I can They told us to scuff it up with a file and I, keep putting it on. I do love the scuff up with the file. And he said that eventually, the, the, he, the way the doctor explained to me, the nail would just fall off. Well, I think it just needs a little help from me. How's that? I wish I had a picture of it when we started. Me too. Because it's just kind of even coming well, over the skin in the what back. It was, what happened, it turned it red. Like. The cuticle did? Yeah. I can't believe this doesn't hurt. Oh, you can like see the pores a, here where that's opened up. It didn't look like a fungus. Like, you know, you, you see a fungus smell like kind of brownish. Uh huh. It didn't look, it didn't look like that. What did it look like? Red. 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 Was right? When he when he said that that was a fungus and gave us that. Yeah. That's what kind of surprised me. Is this from your primary care doctor? Yeah. Or? Okay. Well, we're gonna get this thing pretty much completely thinned out, and I can see where you guys roughed it up because it almost looks like little holes. The best thing is it's made it so soft. I thought it was gonna be hard. We were talking, uh, yeah, yeah. What gem or uh, would this be? What stone? Opal. <laughs> An opal. <laughs> but we're making some progress. I just don't want to go too fast and get your there, skin. There. Got that little. How about you? Okay there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get a hunk of skin because. Most of the time it's, the nails are really hard and you can easily tell where it, uh, your light went off. You can hit the button. Yes, I, I, on YouTube. 
Yeah. Never seen this before. Right. I know. I'm excited to share it. Yeah, we have like something right now. We're about 170,000 people yeah, watching our stuff. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I was flipping through. I call it the rabbit hole. I yes. Looking for things. Like Absolutely. And all of a sudden, I drill down. I find this. And I find this. Yeah. And I found Lexington today. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about right that. Sorry about that. Yeah, I see yeah. on your cuticle. You okay? Yeah. Okay. We may just now go to the Dremel because everything else seems to be pretty well. Well, here I say that, and then there's more coming. You okay? Mm, no. There, hold on. There we go. Just got to get that one random piece hanging there. Okay, let's smooth down the rest of it. Well, I'm done torturing you. Let me just thin it out a little bit. It's probably going to tickle. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how you get stuck down the wormhole with YouTube. They know they've got our number, that's for sure. And you just became my armrest. <laughs> I do that a lot. I look something up, and the next thing I know, I'm reading about uh, little tickle cow bones. <laughs> <laughs> little I? tickle. You let me know if it's too much, okay? Oh shoot, I have those diamond head burrs, but I think we're okay. Yes. You okay? I know. Look how much nails gone. Your look how much of your gem is gone. Your opal. I mean, how pliable. I mean, I've just never seen anything like it. Almost there. You know, doing okay up there? Yeah. You're just really holding on to that toe. I always tell patients, like, if you can see it, that means I can't. I think you want me seeing it. He's telling me he can see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get you cleaned up. Is that nail underneath the, the white there? Well, it's all, it looks like it was just fungal, and then all that lacquer was just building and building and building. Was that red from the edge of there? It, that was what was underneath all the lacquer. It was basically. Um, let me get a little something to point with here. Essentially, that the medicine, the lacquer was all the way back here. Yeah. So and it was coming all over this way. So it was almost suffocating the skin. Is that red on the cuticle there? That's not uh, like an infection. No, 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 no. It's from pressure. And you don't have great circulation coming down here. No, I don't. So that anything, and that's how people you hear get about getting pressure wounds. It's all that pressure. And this just happened to be from all that medicine. That is just the wildest thing I've seen. Okay. All right. Well, that's taken care of. And then we'll definitely have you come back in a couple of months. Or, and then we can go ahead and trim some more. I would just stop with it because I, I just don't think it's helping you. And... That medication has been around, it's called Penlac is the generic, um, but it's been around for a long time and the success rate from that with someone that poor circulation is quite low. And it's time, I mean, you have to do it every day. So I really kind of think you're spinning your wheels a little bit with it. So personally, I would just...